should you tune your 2022 plus Subaru WRX, the VB Gen, should you tune it? Should you mess with it? Or should you wait? In this video, we're gonna talk about whether or not I think you should be tuning your car yet, whether you should wait for the aftermarket to catch up, have more time testing, or whether or not you should be one of those beta testers that's the first to run all these tunes and run them and be the first wave of do we have problems or not. So yeah, this video is gonna be a little juicy because I'm gonna give you some of the real and how all this works and just how statistics and how tunes are actually changed, which I don't think a lot of people put that lens on when they think about the first wave of tuning a vehicle. And yeah, we're gonna get all into it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, you wanna see more VB content, Subaru content, convince me to buy a VB in the comment section below. I might just do it. If I get enough comments, I think I'm gonna go out and buy one. Otherwise, consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get into the video. Tuning vehicles is both a very precise science and it's also a very imprecise science. The reason why it's an imprecise science is because you deal with things that are out of a tuner's control, right? If we had these cars and ran these cars, in the same scenario all the time, at the same sea level, at the same ambient temperature, at the same ambient pressure, at the same ambient wind conditions, at the same fuel grading, at the same fuel consistency, at the same engine temperature, oil quality, engine cooling efficiency based on those three conditions, driving habits, all of these things, it would be really easy to tune these vehicles. We'd still go through periods where we needed to understand the vehicle, get some tunes in them, see how they react, see how parts hold up over the long period of time, but that would still be so much easier than what it's like to actually tune these vehicles in the real world. So what ends up happening? Well, if you get late into the game or you start buying a car or driving a car later in its generation, or you just follow Subarus in general, for the most part in Subaru history, we've had the EJ. And then we had the FA20, but so much went into the FA20 in the first year, 18 months of that car being out, because it was such a big change from the EJ, we got through that period very, very quickly because there was just a mass love for that car. So many were bought, so many companies got behind it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now that's still happening, but we have slightly no lower numbers and there's slightly less excitement around the FA24 than the FA20. And you might disagree with me, there's still hype and excitement, but it was so much more exciting because we were getting away from the EJ. But for the last two decades of the WRX, we've known a lot about what it's like to tune these cars, and we've had good data to take from car to car to car to produce good tuning and very reliable and low engine risk tuning. Now here lies the problem. We have a new engine, a new platform, and people wanting to make big numbers to compete with the rest of the industry. There's no problem any of that, but the reality is, is you need to consider that how do we find out when a tune is too much? How do we find out what the maximum torque the WRX transmission can hold? How do we find out the numbers where it typically starts to slip? How do we know how long your clutch is gonna last when you have that tune? How do we know how long the engine's gonna last? How do we know that a warm day might cause a rod to go through your block? How do we know that a 30 degree temperature differential won't cause an extreme knock event? The answer is by having it happen and having it happen enough times that we can document that it's gonna happen. And unfortunately, if you're in the first round of people doing all of that and your car is slightly different than the tuning testing car because that's the reality of how it is, these cars, these cars are all the same, but they do have tolerances on how they're built. Every engine is slightly different and you might say, yes, we're dealing with microns, but the reality is is microns or even thousandths of an inch make a big difference when you're generating power in an engine. In answering, should you be tuning your 2022 WRX right now? You need to understand that we still don't have all that data and until we push these cars and get good data, meaning lots of volume, we're really not gonna know. And what that really means is you're gonna be in the first round of that a little bit of unknown. If you're willing to stomach the risk of engine or transmission issues, failures, costs out of pockets, to have an extremely fun time, which I think a lot of us are probably willing to stomach, go for it. But if you're a little bit more risk adverse and you don't have, let's say, the funds to deal with something like a blown engine or transmission, something you definitely won't be able to hide from Subaru for a warranty claim, you might wanna think about waiting a little while, maybe only six months before you start tuning your vehicle. This will also give you more time just to have your vehicle on the road and let more WRXs get miles on them and figure out whether they're more factory problems with the car. Nothing worse than finding out you have a factory issue with the car after you've done stuff to the engine and you can't even have an OEM problem fixed under warranty. You might think, oh, they'll do TSBs if you are 
modified and they will fix something if you're modified on for free because it's a t technical service bulletin you'd be surprised some dealerships won't do it so here's the deal i have nothing negative to say about people going and tuning their cars right now i think it's actually necessary right you know selfishly i want to say you should go out and do it and that's just because i don't have a vbwx yet and when i buy my vbwx i'd love to have that data so i can know how far can I push this car? How much can I trust the tuners? How safe is the tuning happening? And the reality is, I think everyone's feeling that way. And we need to rely on the people that are comfortable doing that to their cars, that are seeking that thrill, that have that financial stability, to go out and do those things so the rest of us can have fun with the cars. So here's what I'm gonna leave you with. Think critically about everything that I've talked in this video. Make the decision on your own, but also for everyone that is going out and tuning those cars, whether you see people in your local community online, say thank you, right? I mean, this sounds dumb and this sounds like, you know, it's, I didn't even think I was going to say this, but there, there's part of it in that they are guinea pigging for the rest of us. And if you're willing to guinea pig, now is the time to go out and do it. And if you're not willing to guinea pig, figure out what else you can do for the community to help this car and the aftermarket platform flourish. So I know that was a little bit of an odd video and probably not where you're expecting it to go, but that's, that's the video. I, again, I have zero opinion because I don't want to be selfish and say you should go get it tuned, but you also need to understand that there is some real risk about getting your car tuned right now. And that is unavoidable. And anyone that tells you that there isn't risk is probably more likely thinking the way I'm thinking is they need, we need more numbers to understand what works or they just don't understand how it works. So take that with every grain of salt that you want to take it with, go out and make your own decisions. But those are some of the risks that you face if you tune your WRX and at least go through that thought process before you go out and do it. But if you do do it and you have done it, I want to be the first to know your numbers below. Let me know what you're running. Let me know what you're running. You think you're running safely and keep us posted on the channel. I think we'd all love to know. I'll see you guys in the next video.